Hi everyone, this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Are you looking for a fast and easy dessert recipe for your summertime parties? Well, if you don't want to heat up your kitchen, a lemon trifle might be the perfect solution to your problems. So what is a trifle? A trifle is basically some sponge cake and some pudding or some mousse mixed in together. And it's all done in a fancy little bowl like this. But this little trifle bowl is not quite big enough for my party. So I, I'm actually using a punch bowl and it looks more like a fish bowl. It's gonna be great. It's gonna have a lot of room in it uh, for serving about 40 people. So what are you going to need to make this delicious, light, and refreshing dessert? You need some lady fingers. Now, lady fingers are traditionally used for tiramisu, and basically they're just a little sponge cake, and these are available in the refrigerated section of your grocery store. You're going to need some lemon curd. It comes in jars, and you could probably find it in the jelly section of the grocery store. And then you're going to need a couple boxes of instant vanilla pudding, some whole milk, and some heavy whipping cream, uh, four cups of it. So I'll get you the recipe and you can look for it in the commentary on the website. Everything's written down for you there, but let's get going and get started. Oh, and if you want, you can also add some extra berries to it, which you can use blueberries, raspberries, either one of these go great with lemon, great pairing. So first up, I'm mixing up the instant vanilla pudding. So I have six cups of very cold whole milk and I'm just whisking this and I'm going to whisk it for two minutes until it gets to kind of like a semi-thick consistency and then I'll set it aside. And this is the perfect consistency. You can see it's getting nice and thick and I'm just going to stick this in the fridge until I'm ready to use it. So next up, I have a metal bowl that's been chilling in the freezer for about 10 minutes along with the beaters for my electric mixer. And I have my four cups of heavy whipping cream in the bowl. I'm going to add to that one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then four rounded tablespoons of powdered sugar. Now, this is actually going to wind up being um, the whipped cream and it's going to be nice and fluffy and it's only going to take about, I would say, three minutes to get this to come to stiff peaks. So the whipped cream is done. It's nice and fluffy. It took only three minutes. And to this, we're going to add the lemon curd. Now, lemon curd has been chilling overnight. So you could see this is kind of like a, a gooey consistency. It's very lemony, very tart, very concentrated flavor. So what we're going to do now is just fold this in with the larger spatula and get it all incorporated really well so everything is nice and consistent. Now, folding and stirring are two totally different things. So this is how you're going to fold all of this together. You want a beautiful, nice, consistent, thoroughly mixed mixture. Now this is a great marrying of flavors because the whipped cream is a little bit bland and the lemon curd is really tart. So it really knocks down the flavor of the lemon curd. And look at the beautiful consistency on this. Uh, it really is beautiful and light and fluffy. So the secret to a wonderful tasting lemon trifle is to use limoncello. Now this is lemon flavored liqueur direct from Italy. Now you really should get the Italian version and this one is from Calabria and this is really the best tasting limoncello out there. Uh, it's, it's really, really fresh tasting. Uh, it does not have an overly alcoholic flavor to it. And we discovered this on a trip to Italy. So this is really, really special to use this in this recipe too for our friends. Now what you're going to do, you see I've lined the bottom of my bowl and I've taken the lady fingers and I have cut them in half and I've lined them out like a little flower. So that's all set up in the bottom. Now what I'm doing now is I have an ounce of limoncello and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top of the lady fingers. Now this dessert is all about layering. So I have my very first layer of pudding on the bottom and you can kind of see there, it's right over the top of the lady fingers. And then I'll start out with another layer of mousse over the top of that. Now I'm taking the lady fingers and I'm lining them up just like soldiers all along the circumference of the bowl. And this is going to make it look beautiful from the edges. It's going to make it look very interesting and architectural. And then from there, I'm just going to break up some more and I'm just going to put them directly on top of that mousse layer. And another ounce of limoncello poured over the top of the lady fingers or sponge cake just to give it that beautiful lemony flavor. And this is what it looks like so far. So on top of this, we'll go another layer of pudding. 
So on top of that went the lemon mousse. I have another layer of lady fingers and I cut them all in half. And the reason why you want to do that and not leave them whole is because you don't want somebody to pick up a big chunk with their spoon or their fork. So it makes it bite sized for them. And then on top of that goes another ounce of limoncello. The very last layer of pudding is put on top, but before I go ahead and add the last layer of mousse, I'm taking some fresh raspberries and I'm putting them in between each and every lady finger. And this is just to give it a little bit of extra color. It gives it a little bit of extra flavor. The pairing with lemon and raspberry is just unbeatable. And you know what? If people don't like raspberries, they can pull them out easily and it's not incorporated within the entire dessert. So this is really a great way to kind of please a crowd. So I'm getting the very last layer of lemon mousse on the top and then I'm going to follow it with a layer of lady fingers and limoncello and then I'll decorate the top. So this daisy pattern gets repeated until you get to the very last bit right in the center. But let's not forget that last ounce of limoncello. I've placed the trifle in the refrigerator while I complete this last task. So I have a whole lemon here and it's really nice and beautiful and yellow. And what I'm going to do at this point is zest the lemon. Now this is a lemon zester. It's a tool that has serrations and holes on one side. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take this and you're going to run it over the top of the lemon rind. And you're going to get off the very brightest part of the lemon. And what you're going to do is you're going to stop when you see white underneath because you don't want that. It's not quite as sweet as the bright yellow rind that you can see. So your lemon is going to look like this when it's all zested. It's going to be a whitish color on the outside and really all you're going to get is about a half a teaspoon of lemon zest in the end and this is just used as a garnish so you don't need very much of it and it's very flavorful so you don't want it to be overpowering either. Now I'm finishing up slicing this lemon nice and thin. I'm not using any of the insides because I don't want that sour lemon juice to actually get onto the trifle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the innards and actually just use the lemon rind also as a garnish. The trifle is out of the refrigerator and I'm taking a damp paper towel and I'm just running it across the outside and the inside of the bowl, making sure that this is drip free in case you made a mistake along the way when you were filling it up with pudding. So now that that's done, I have some Cool Whip and I took it out of the container and put it in a bowl and just whipped it up with my electric mixer just for a nice consistency. Now the reason why I'm using Cool Whip is because I want the peaks to hold up in case this is at room temperature for a little while the Cool Whip holds up a lot better than regular heavy whipping cream like we used on the inside. So I have a large pastry bag outfitted with a 6B tip. Now this is like a, a flower tip or a star tip and all I'm going to do, now this is really easy to do, you could just kind of take this and just go along all the edges. I'm just going to turn it as I go and get a nice peaked top all across the top of this. Now that the edges are done all the way around, I'm filling in the center. Let's finish it off with some lemon rind here and there with a little bit of lemon zest just here and there sprinkled all across the top. This is going to give the Cool Whip a beautiful flavor. And you know what else? You can add a little more limoncello on top too. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. So this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. I hope you enjoyed watching this trifle recipe. Quick, easy. Was it 20 minutes? Well, maybe a little over, um, but definitely under half an hour. And my goodness, look what you have when you're finished. It's just gorgeous. Everyone's gonna think you spent hours making this and you sure didn't. So hope you enjoyed watching this. Please watch for another recipe next time. This is Renee Romeo. Thank you so much for watching.